Islam the Basics Lesson 3 Belief in the Angels In the previous lesson we mentioned the six pillars of faith and explained the belief in Allah. In this lesson we will discuss belief in the angels, inshallah, God willing. Belief in the angels God created three types of intelligent beings with different capabilities. 1. Angels, who are obedient at all times to Allah's command. 2. Spirits or jinn, who have free will. And human beings, who also have free will to obey or not. The angels and spirits are not visible to us, but they can see us. Angels in their original form have wings. Some have two, some have four, and others have more. There are many angels, and they have different duties. Some write the decree of each child while in the mother's womb. Some angels protect us, and as mentioned, there is one assigned to everyone to help guard them. The more humble and sincere a person is toward Allah, the more influence their angel will have in guiding them. Everyone has angels appointed to write down their good and bad deeds in books. The books will be given back on the Day of Judgment and everyone will see everything they did. Then they will be judged according to the actions they did here on earth. Angels are also responsible for delivering revelation to the messengers from Allah. Angel Gabriel, Jibreel, delivered the Qur'an to Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. The concept of angels in Islam differs to that of Christianity. In Islam, angels never disobey Allah while the Christian religion teaches that there are fallen angels. However, angels are sometimes sent to test people, but only as commanded by Allah. Furthermore, Muslims believe the spirit of the Trinity of Christians is in fact Angel Gabriel, who sent revelation to Jesus, peace be upon him. Belief in the angels benefits the Muslims by reminding them of their accountability with all their actions. This prevents them from doing bad and encourages good actions. And by reassuring them that no harm can come to them unless it is decreed by Allah. Believing in angels is a fundamental part of a Muslim's faith, as angels are the direct link between God and his message to mankind. Because it is the angels which sent the revelation to the messengers. Praise be to God. In this lesson we have discussed the second pillar of the Islamic faith which is to believe in the angels. In the next lesson we will discuss belief in the books, inshallah, God willing. God guides those who are sincere and humble themselves to his majesty. May Allah guide us to be sincere to him in all our affairs. Ameen.